Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I was playing around with TNT some more, and I came up with a, a TNT cannon design that I haven't really seen before. Now, that doesn't mean it hasn't been done, but it's, it's new to me, for sure, and I'm sure it's new to some of you, too. So, I'm calling it the Penetrator Cannon, and here's what it does. Uh, the timing is actually pretty short on this one. And fire, and cause a pretty big explosion over there. I'm going to use some world edit magic to just reload the cannon automatically. Um, fire it again. And you'll notice that the projectile from the cannon is actually, it actually, uh, it's very, it's very narrow. It's very pinpointed. And that's kind of the point of the cannon. So, After three shots, we've caused quite a bit of damage. Um, the The idea is that a bunch of TNT is falling into the exact same place for the projectile, and that's all getting fired together. And then once it once it hits the destination, then it sort of splits up a bit. So you get a very localized shot from from this cannon, and it's very simple and resource light. Um, all you have is a normal base for any sort of TNT cannon. There's a there's a half block here. This is really important. This allows for a, a much better firing uh, firing distance. And then uh, the 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 redstone signal for the uh, pr projectile TNT is also very simple. It's just this TNT tower and or sorry this redstone torch tower and there are some blocks attached. So when I press the button, that'll turn this torch off, which will turn the line off. Power this one, depower this one, power this one, depower this one. And that also powers the block, which which powers the TNT. Now, notice that each of these TNT is surrounded by four blocks, which means it's going to fall straight down. They're all going to fall straight down to the exact same position. So when I do press the ignition button, that's what we see. And, and they fall into the exact same spot on this slab, which means that when they get blasted off from the propellant TNT, they're all they're all actually following the exact same flight trajectory, which means they land in the same place. And there, notice that there is also a slight delay because of because it takes time for the signal to get up the torch tower, and that's what causes them to go off in a delayed fashion like that, and they sort of blow each other uh, apart. Exploding. Um, so that one didn't really do much damage because it just hit the opening. But you'll notice that after five shots, we have quite a deep cave. Uh, this is much bigger than you would get if you just use regular single-shot TNT cannons. There are some other cannons that are kind of like this called spread cannons uh, that, that do fire multiple TNT per shot, but they usually don't deal this much damage. And it's, it's kind of a lot. I think the main use for this cannon is if you really want localized very pinpointed damage, but a lot of it. It's also pretty efficient with TNT. It only this one only takes uh, six T or sorry six TNT in the propellant and five uh, projectile TNT per shot. You can't make this tower go too much higher because uh, it takes time for the TNT to fall. And if the TNT does, hasn't gotten all the way down to this slab by the time you shoot, uh, it's gonna explode your cannon. So and. Yeah, you, you want to be careful with the timing because it, this this one, this design in particular, requires a very short timing, and if you don't give it a short timing, it'll explode. Here's another similar concept. Um, it's this is more of a manual cannon. It's a lot smaller, but it uses a piston and a repeater. So I'll get a, a little one clock going here, and basically the idea with this one is you get you get the same sort of effect where all the TNT is in the exact same spot. But the difference here is that you're manually loading it. And so you don't have to build the entire tower. You can load it from one spot. But, so it looks a little bit like this. You ignite the propellant there, and then you spam right click on the, on the um, brick. And then you get the same sort of effect. The delay is a little bit longer because you can't really spam the right click quite as fast as you could with the, with the torch tower. 
but it's, it's the same sort of effect. And so, so what I'm trying to say with this with this whole video is that it, this is just kind of a different take on a multi-shot TNT cannon. I've never seen anyone try and use delayed shots before quite like this. And it's, it might be sort of a useful concept for Race for the Wool maps or PvP servers. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to uh, mention is if you want to reload, um, if you want to reload, it's pretty easy to just do that from this ladder. Like it's actually very quick, so that, that's pretty fast. And then you can just go along and do the same thing from here. And the, the reloading process is actually is is not too much slower than a uh, than a normal single shot cannon. So there you go. That's the uh, penetrator cannon. Hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.